Let's say we're asked to find the domain of this function, 3x squared minus x. We start by recognizing that we can square any number. There is no number that we cannot multiply by itself, whether it's positive or negative or zero or it's some decimal or a weird fraction. We can always take a number and multiply it by itself, and that's what it means to square a number. Now that new number that we get, there's no reason why we can't multiply that new number by 3. And by the same argument, there's nothing preventing us from subtracting the original number x from this new product 3x squared. So whenever there are no excluded values or no numbers that are tripping us up, we can say that the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Different instructors or different textbooks might refer to this also as all real numbers. It's just the set of all real numbers, and that can actually be denoted a third way by a script R, or this fancy R. This just indicates the set of all real numbers. That means that any number from negative infinity to positive infinity can be plugged into this function 3x squared minus x, and it will give you an appropriate output value. And that's it.